Hey everyone, John Henry here from School of Trade, and today we're going to be taking a look at gold for a potential breakout. Uh, now, we just had this humongous volume spike come in just after the, uh, the New York Open at 9.30, and really what I would like to see from here is just a break below uh, possibly this previous candle's high. That might be kind of an area where... Uh, a lot of stops might get taken out, but if we can at least wick underneath that come up, then I'll be looking for a possible breakout underneath that, which, <laughs> okay, uh, just do exactly what I said then. Perfect. Okay, so uh, we just had a wick below that. Uh, we're having a hard time closing underneath it, though. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to preemptively place my order here uh, for four contracts, and I'm going to be looking to sell short underneath this low here. Now, we've got a couple seconds left, uh, so we'll give this a little bit of time yet. So right now, looking at 1290.2 as the short, and we'll place it right now, uh, right when that uh, right when that second candle entered there. Um, so now we're just looking for an entry at 1290.2, looking for our typical entry scheme that we use. Uh, stop is 10 ticks back, looking at the first five tick target. We're going to ratchet the stop down a little bit. So two contracts off at plus five, one contract off at plus 10. And then the final contract, we're looking all the way down at 1288.2. Uh, so now that we had that first target filled there, what we're going to do is bump our stop uh, about five ticks away here. So uh, that'll put it at seven. So we'll move the stop up a little bit. So now that we got the stop ratcheted down to 1290.7, that'll lock out the risk. Essentially, this is a break-even trade. Uh, we've gone five ticks up from our entry, and we've already taken a profit target off at plus five. So if we get taken off two at plus five, two contracts left off at minus five, we're break-even. So we don't win or lose anything on the trade. So really, really nice place to be. Uh, so right now, we're looking looking at the second target here down at 1289.2 uh, for 10 ticks, and that will lock in uh, pretty much the rest of it. Once we get this next uh, this next target filled down here uh, at 1289.2, if we can get that filled, what I'll do is I'll probably lock in uh, I'll lock the stop in a little bit more. I don't know necessarily about break even, but maybe, uh, okay, uh, before the uh, the previous candle's high here. So what we'll do is we'll just lock that in there. And now we're getting a huge amount of volume coming in at these lows. And we just had our target tested. Let's see if we can get that filled, bump it up. No? If it doesn't want to fill me at 1288.6, uh, we'll drop it back down to 1288.2. It's a shame that it touches to the tick, but we've locked out pretty much everything. Um, at this point, we've taken off one contract at plus 10, two contracts off at plus five for a total of 10 and 10 for $200 so far. Uh, still short, it did test our target to the tick. Uh, kind of an unfortunate that we didn't get filled. No surprise that we didn't get filled. Um, so what we'll do, since we didn't get the fill, I moved it up aggressively just to try to get out. Um, in this case, though, it's still very bearish. We'll leave it to uh, we'll leave it to its own devices, if you will, uh, and let it work out. Now, if this candle, uh, before we start coming down, if we start seeing these candles start making higher highs past each other, we're going to have to be a little bit concerned, but it's going to take some work before that happens. Uh, so overall, we're still looking at our downside target at 1288.2, and uh, let's see if we can get that filled. The stop is only risking uh, from two to five, risking three ticks on one contract, so $30. I've already locked in 200, so at worst, we still made 170. Uh, so definitely nothing to shake a stick at. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll be back in a little bit with the final results and see how the trade ends up. Okay, perfect. So we filled that final target down here at 1288.2. Did catch a little bit of heat in here. You know, we we touched it to the tick, which is always an unfortunate thing to see, especially when it bounces higher. But none of these candles made new highs, right? The high was never broken. High was never broken. High was never broken. There was nothing telling us that the bulls were taking over. Uh, and then once we finally got that next push down again, got that final target filled. You can see a lot of people must have been waiting down there because we wicked and popped right back up again. Uh, so overall, we took plus 20. Uh, on the final contract there. So in total, we took two off at five, one off at 10, and one off at 20 for a total of $400. Uh, so a really pretty solid trade on gold here. Uh, so that's going to be the trade for today. If you have any questions about it, feel free to send an email to School of Trade. And don't forget to check out our trial at schooloftrade.com. Have a good one. Bye.